everyone. Welcome to episode 9, season 2 of The Gordon Show. I hope you've all been well this week. Have I caught you about to settle down for the evening? Hmm, with a large bowl of crisps, large bottle of Coke, and about to watch something like, I don't know, Mel and Sue's Generation Game. Hmm, no, I didn't think so. I mean, firstly, yeah, a large bottle of Coke will now cost a fortune, thanks to the PC Brigade's sugar tax. Oh, come on, it's just an excuse to raise taxes since the loss of tobacco tax. Hmm, and secondly, the Generation Game, why on earth did they bring that back? especially with those two talk about car crash television no I think you should all watch this show hmm? then grab your coats and go out for a nice evening stroll because come on even with April showers it's better than watching that rubbish I went to the doctors the other day I said doc I've got a cricket ball stuck up my ass he said how's that I said don't you start now have you all been watching the Commonwealth Games Guess who's presenting it? No, I've done that already. But hey, it's on so late, it does help you fall asleep, you know. Mm. Now, thank you to all those beautiful people who shared me on Facebook. Great stuff. And if you could all please take a sneaky peek on my YouTube channel, that'd be great. Thanks. My wife hasn't spoken to me now for the past fortnight. Well, it's her fault, really. We went into town to try and find her some nice new summer clothes, when eventually she found something she liked. As she was trying it on, she called out to me, Now be honest, does my bum look big in this? Well, mm, hence, two weeks now of pure, uninterrupted silence. Now as I get older, it does make me chuckle that people my age, or older, try and, I don't know, look like they're getting down with the kids. I mean, it even sounds rubbish, doesn't it? I mean, especially the ladies. No, come on, fellas, you just never look that great anyway. Well, except for me, I look really good, yeah. And, well, here's a pic just to prove it. Yes, I'm the one on the left, if you didn't realise. Mm. Now, I'm fully aware that I probably look like something from a flock of seagulls, yeah. Now, for you younger viewers, that was a new romantic band in the 80s, yeah. But if I tried looking like that now, I'd look really stupid. I mean, there are people older than me who still try and look the way they did 30 years ago. Oh, I mean, Robert Smith, right, from The Cure, he's got so many different shirts, but every morning he has the same problem. He tries them all on, and in the end, he wears the same old black one that he's worn since he was 18. Oh, again, for you younger viewers, Robert Smith is the lead singer with the band The Cure. Oh, God, I'm getting old. <laughs> Is it that some men, mostly famous, think that trying to look young will actually help them pull younger women? That's got nothing to do with it. They're simply after your money and hoping that in a few years you'll snuff it and they can then spend your hard-earned cash on, guess what, making themselves looking young so they can pull younger men. And it goes on. Ah, oh, top of the money to you, top of the money to you. I was speaking to my English friend the other day, so I was, so I was. And he was telling me the story about when he was at a Church of England primary school that the Reverend would come along every Friday and make all the class get on their hands and knees and pray. I said you were lucky. Oh, when I went to a Catholic primary school, the priest would get us on our hands and knees every day. But there wasn't a lot of praying going on, I can tell you. I drove past a farm food shop and restaurant the other day. Outside, a huge bald read the name of the place and then a comment that said, good, honest farm food. Which leads me to believe that if there's good, honest farm food, then surely there must be bad, dishonest farm food too. 
I mean, I just don't get it, right, with farm food shops, yeah, that they charge abnormal prices for normal products. I sort of get why they charge more for their fancy jams, pickles and bread, but why charge more for, like, eggs, sugar and milk? It just doesn't make sense. Oh, well, Gordon, you know farm food shops are more expensive. Well, yes, I do know that, but then why advertise themselves as bloody honest? My wife and I just flew over here. To pass away the time, we thought we'd join the Mile High Club. But have you seen those airplane toilets? They're way too small. How the hell are you supposed to join the Mile High Club? I only just managed the single membership. Now, talking about food, another thing that gets me are the countless amounts of cooking programmes on the telly, like Flaming Jamie Oliver, Master Chef, Mary Berry, Saturday Kitchen, Sunday Brunch, and The British Bake Off, just to name a few. God! Now, I'll let off Nigella and Lorraine Pascal, because come on, fellas, let's face it, we're not actually watching the cooking, are we? I told you last week to stop being sexist! OK, sorry, but come on. There are so many ways to cook with only so many food products. I mean, if you're like me, you cook the same things you always have done anyway. I mean, we simply don't have the time to stand there cooking every night, do we? No, we'd much rather, I don't know, sit there watching someone else do it. Oh, no, well, I did wonder, though, what it would be like if um, MasterChef was on The Gordon Show. Just two left in this tentative semi-final. Who will be brave enough to win the day? Hello! What a competition we have, Mr Wallace! Yes, it just gets better and better! Well, I got this far, and I? Now we're going to have to see if I can blow them away. Not with my cooking, no! Just blow them away! What's your dish, Tom Ron? Well, uh, yeah, I got two boiled eggs and fingers. And no, they're not soldiers. I bloody hate soldiers. They're fingers. And they can be real if you want. Tom Ron is cooking boiled eggs, which if it gets right, will taste fantastic. But if he leaves it too long, then the fingers won't be able to do their job. Oh, hello. I can't believe I've got in the semi. I've even got a semi thinking about it. What are you making us, Alan? Well, it's a combination of potatoes, this lovely sausage, and a squirt of my special secret sauce. How does Alan make his dish look expensive? It's just a common British meal. How is he going to impress us and make us look as if we really want to eat his sausage? You only have five minutes left. Oh, bloody hell. Time is up. Tom Ron has made boiled eggs and soldiers. The bloody fingers! Get it right! Oh, sorry, fingers. The egg is like pure gold on my tongue. It's just another plate of sheer excellence. Well, I'm glad that's over, even though I know the outcome, if you know what I mean. Alan has made potatoes, one sausage and his special handmade sauce. My mouth is exploding with flavour! The sausage is undercooked and not hard enough, but the special sauce is very tasty, even though it does smell a bit like, well, fried mushrooms. Mmm, well I'm glad that's over. I've never had any complaints about how hard my sausage is before. Well, I just don't know who to send through to the final. No, mate, they're both great cooks, but even with a gun to our heads, we have to be honest and pick the right one. Though it's been tough, we've had to make a decision. So the person leaving us today is... Tom Ron. Right! Well, I can't believe I've got through to the final, especially with a limp sausage. Right, bloody fat fake Cockney and his shirt lifter Aussie friend. Me and Tom Ridge are going to take them down to the blind beggar later for a few shots. So next week there won't be a final. Well, not unless Flaming Claire Baldwin is presenting it. 
Yes, well, <clears throat> the trouble is we really only cook what our parents used to cook us. <laughs> it does make me chuckle because I, I never really got why my father would have like the, the lion's share and us kids would like get meagre portions or why all of them would argue over the skin on a rice pudding or worse still, a pink blancmange. Yuck. I wasn't arguing. Can't stand the stuff. No. And as I got older, why did the food get more and more bland? I mean, we started to get like spaghetti bolognese, chicken nuggets and chips, fish fingers or a half-baked potato with beans. You said you liked my cooking. Oops. Well, of course I loved your cooking, Mum. <laughs> Someone asked me what I thought of these videos. I said I've seen detergents leave a better film. Now that is an old advert. It's a shame all the best adverts were about things that killed you. Mm. Oh no, in one month's time, I'm going to be 50. Oh, I never did get any of those emails or messages to say, Gordon, you look so childlike. How can you be 50? I even have ladylike skin, don't I? I love people watching. Well, they love watching me. Oh well, never mind. Now, if you've enjoyed this week's episode, then please press the share button on Facebook and also go to my YouTube channel, view the videos and press share and subscribe there too. Great stuff. Now, I wish you all have a fantastic week and I'll see you next Sunday for episode 10, season two of The Gordon Show. Bye for now.